Hello guys and uh, welcome back to another redstone tutorial. In this particular one I'm going to be talking about Minecraft ticks and uh, what impact that has on redstone. Um, I kind of briefly touched on it in, in another video but I felt it was a uh, it needs to have its own video to kind of really explain ex everything about it, um, about what a tick is. You, you might hear other commentators talking about them and uh, I thought it might be a good idea to do a uh, little video a video on explaining exactly what they uh, exactly what they are. Right. So what a tick is is um every time the game updates it takes one tenth of a second. So if I move forward or backwards the game's constantly updating um how quickly I'm moving forward when I take my finger off the button, uh, like the, the forward button, that sort of thing, and it constantly constantly keeps a, a check on what I'm doing. The same with um, animals over here. Every one tenth of a second, which is going to be about ten times ten times every second, they're plotting a course, deciding what to do. The same thing happens with grass, like if we uh, if I just get some dirt up here, hopefully let's make that that's easier. Make some dirt here. These rely on ticks as well. So grass grows depending on the surrounding region, um, but these these dirt blocks will be going through certain ticks, like you know, obviously like ten every second, and it will randomly decide whether it's going to spawn grass. Um, those sort of things are the kind of checks that happen every every uh, ten times every second. Um, same thing kind of happens with redstone as well. So if I knock out this torch, it took one tenth of a second to update all this redstone um, and that's basically what a tick will, will be so you can see that it's taken one tenth of a second to update it all but it all happens at the same time um, I can kind of show you over here you see how redstone stretches for 15 blocks either way obviously it goes a lot further than this but this is just uh, as a display you can kind of see in the corners here the redstone hasn't quite made it um, but just to show you, show you what a tick is you'll see that this whole grid will update at the same time whether there's a redstone torch here or not it'll all go out at the same time so it doesn't take one tenth of a second to go through each block so it doesn't take one tenth to go all the way through because that, that means it would take about a second to get to the edge the edges of this um, instead it happens all in the same tick so you can see there it all goes on and off you can see there quite clearly all at the same time which is all happening inside of one tick. Uh, redstone repeaters also use ticks. They rely on a similar kind of the same mechanism. When they're set to one, they're just set to one tick, which is obviously one tenth of a second. So each one here is one tenth of a second. So we've got one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, and the output. So when I turn it on, it will take three tenths of a second to reach the lamp there. So you can see that. You can kind of see it just sort of flow just takes a second to update the lamp. Um, obviously you can amend that so I can change that to four tenths so we've got four, eight, twelve ticks which is uh, 1.2 seconds so you can see there it takes just about over a second to to light the lamp and I've got a kind of similar thing here let's have a look this one set to one, four and four so that's nine this this bank of repeaters is set to nine ticks. Obviously, with the redstone, that will take one tick to update. So, in total, this will be one second to update. On this side, we've got four, 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 and three, which is four, eight, twelve, sixteen, nineteen, twenty, including the redstone we've got here. So, this should take two seconds to update. So, when I turn this on, should take a second to update this one and two seconds exactly to update that one. So let's have a look. Just like that. So you can see that one takes a yeah, it does take about twice as long to update. There you go, you can see. Quite simply. And if I give this a really quick pulse, you'll see uh the the light passing down here. There you go, you can kind of see it going there. I'll do that again. You can just see the redstone signal traveling down uh, so yeah so that's basically what a tick is um, and just just to finalize it just to show you exactly uh, 
We set these back to one. So we set that back to one. Uh, it takes one tenth of a second to update all this redstone wire up, right up to the ends on either side. So one tenth of a second, all this is powered at, at the same time. And then it will take another one tenth of a second because of the repeaters to update these these two pistons. So it should take 0.2 seconds from when I when I turn this lever to turning those on. And you can see it's so quick it, it looks almost instantaneous, but there is a slight delay, nothing very nothing you'd notice though. Um if we wanted to delay, let's say we want the first one on one tenth of a second, or like in total it'll be two tenths. Let's make this one three, so that'll take three tenths of a second. Make this one four, so that'll take four tenths of a second. So we've got two, three, and four. So it should go in a, a kind of motion. Um, we'll do the same on this side, so it's uh, kind of symmetrical. So these should all um, go out in a kind of um, a, a motion, I suppose, um, a wave kind of motion. There you go, it gets it happen quite easily. And if we, you can also make those even longer. We can double those up. Um, so let's say let's have that on two. Let's have this one on four. Let's have this one on eight. Oh, on one. Uh, there we go. So let's quickly hook these up. So we've got a, a two, a four, and an eight. Uh, two, four. And uh, stick that one to eight. There we go. Uh, turn it on. You can see there's a slight delay across the wall. You can see that kind of wave motion going. If you wanted to delay one side, you could put a redstone repeater down here, and that will delay one side only. There you can see it's in a. So it puts them out of sync by. Let's see what we put that to. Three tenths. So I'll put that. Put that right hand side out of sync by three tenths. There you go. Right, well I hope that explains redstone ticks a little bit. Um, if you have any comments or requests, please feel free to leave something in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to answer it. Um, or cover it in another video or uh, or do this video again because I don't know how clear this one is. Um, but if you're enjoying the series, please feel free to leave a like or, or uh, if you're really enjoying it, please subscribe. Thanks guys.